your hats for sale still? Yeah, he just bought them. Yeah, he just bought them. All of them? Oh, yes, sir. Oh. You can find your way around to yeah. it. Oh, it is beautiful layout. I wish everybody would do it like this. I was going to put the garbage can up on the front too. Yeah. Big old Cincinnati fans. Yeah, yeah, right at the border. And I saw you had some bobbleheads on the. Oh yeah. Uh oh. Oh, they're all down there, huh? Oh, underneath the thing. I got you. Bobbleheads, two dollars each for five for three. Oh man. Uh Bear cat like crazy. Yeah. All right, well, I'll ask you a crazy question, sir. What would you do if I bought all the bobbleheads and all the hats? I don't know if there's a if there's a preferred like one and done price. All the bobbleheads and all the hats? Yep. Oh, I'm unsure of it, but I won't pass on it. That'll work. I'll do 60. I didn't even do the math for it. <laughs> but I figure. I, it's basically just uh, what it is, yeah. We've had uh, we've had at least 10 emails on, on those saying basically the same thing. We'll take them all. Right. Um, so, okay. 10. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 would be this. Right. And then, and then 25 for the hats. Which there were 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 18, 16, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, 18, 20, so what's that? So that'd be uh, twenty five for the hats. Yeah. So twenty five and thirty five. Twenty five and thirty five. All right, let's do it. I'll do that. Okay. I don't. Do y'all happen to have? I didn't bring any like yeah. boxes or yeah, tubs yeah, or totes yeah, or bags or. Yeah. You want to start putting them in there? Yes, sir. Yeah. 
for sale still? Yeah, he just bought it. Yeah, he bought it. All of them? Oh, yes, sir. You have an, I'll give you the opportunity to buy all the shirts first before I can come and look. I hadn't even made it out there. That's his stuff, Dick. I think he's put that aside. Oh. Are you looking at some yes, of that? Yes, ma'am. I, I was going to grab all That's that. That's his stuff. Sorry. Oh. Well, you'd be willing to sell any of the hats? I hadn't even looked at it. No, not at the time. I, I do it for a buddy of mine in D.C., I mean, nothing older. Would you sell any one hat? Any one hat? Yeah, any there, of the bearcat? Huh? Any of the one bearcat hat? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, hit me up in my truck after. Okay. Because, okay. I, like I said, I never looked where it came in. How much do you have on this? What are we thinking on those? Yeah. Oh, no, I just got a stack of stuff. Hmm? No, that was my stack. I, I thought I thought you were another person here working. No, no. My apologies. I want all the hats. So you're getting the um, bobbleheads? Yeah. Bobbleheads? Yeah. Okay. Did you? Are you done? I think so. I just wanted to square away with that, and then, uh, whoops. Yeah. See if they had a. Venmo, Cash App, anything, PayPal. No. Uh, no. Hold on one second. Uh, Venmo, yeah. Oh, okay. so, Some of that was unmarked, so I didn't know what you thought. So 50, then no 60. Yeah, that's a good one. 65 total. Okay, that'll work, 65. No, it went through. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, you need a bag? No, ma'am, I ain't it in this box I got right here. That should be sufficient. I really want to grab some. I see if he has some packing paper or something to separate those bobbleheads so they don't slide into each other. What did Dad do with the newspaper? I just got hats and bobbleheads. You you see these pins out here? Like, all the pins? I didn't get those. Like, so I don't know if you want to make an offer on all of them, but I just, I just did what I know. I got guys that do hats and guys that do bobbleheads. You want to sell that bobblehead? This one here? Yeah. I don't know. What would you, what would you pay for it? I don't know tell me. I have to, uh, uh, yeah, let me see what it goes for. I'll give you a good price. Is this, uh, is this the Oscar picture you were talking about? Yeah. Look right. at that. Keen eye in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can bring it. Um, oh. So. Oh. Right here. Jack. <laughs> and bring them right here. So you guys take a look at them. $15 for the, like, Lightweight. Lightweight jackets. Yeah. 25 for the winner. You're going on the ground. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah. Oh my goodness, you know. You know what? I'll take that one if you. I know you will. <laughs> you don't want that. Uh, if, if there's no like major pulls or tears, yeah, I, think I don't so. think so. <laughs> Let's see. You know what? I, I beat y'all. Star jacket? No. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah, I do 24. Yeah, I, otherwise, I'd have to find a fan and then authenticate the signature, and it would be better in a personal collection. Introduce yourself real quick. Sorry. Hi, I'm Charlie Farisi. Charlie this guy, Farisi. Uh, he beat me to an awesome garage sale, and uh, he scored the hats before I could get them. So I'm trying well, to buy them off. Take a look. Charlie wants to buy them off of me. Yeah. And I am not a go longhorns hook them, baby. <laughs> so, um, I'm not a UC fan. Just a, I mean, you tell me what you want for them, and I'll let you know that price works for me because they're yours. One of the, let's see, one, two, three, four, I buy them all, but five, six, seven, let's see. 24. 24? Mm hmm. 24. Mm. He, he only paid 20 bucks for him, so I think he should give. No, me. I paid more than that. Oh, do you? Yeah, yeah. It was it was a little bit more because of the golf hats and stuff. Okay. Uh, and I bundled them in with the bobbleheads. Okay. Let's see. So I do less than half off of what I'm gonna get, and I do them all for 200 bucks. Let me think about it. Okay. I gotta go pay for my stuff. Pay for your stuff? Sorry, you got a minute. I'll be here. Okay. All right, folks, so with the hats, anytime you're looking like vintage hats, if you look at like the big money, you'll look for like the sawtooth. I think it's sawtooth, shark, shark tooth. And uh, like the splash hats, uh, nothing like that in here. But it is a bunch of like one-offs in the 90s, early 2000s, most of them are 90s. And you know, a little more in depth. You can see some stuff you're never gonna get again. 96. There's a great conference. 94, 92. So, let's see. But I mean, a lot of made in made in the USA stuff. A lot of them with tags. But yeah, I mean, an easy twenty dollars a piece. Uh, some of them can go maybe thirty or forty maybe uh just depends on the fan base so what i'm gonna do for charlie is yeah i've hit him with 200 bucks i figure 25 hats is less than 10 dollars a hat but uh easy profit for me and it helps out a local fan he's a collector more than a reseller so even if you resell him it's enough meat on the bone uh, anything that he has duplicates of uh he's more than welcome to do what he wants to do so we'll just wait for charlie and see what he says now, while we're waiting for Charlie, let's just go over exactly what we had. Uh, all these bobbleheads. We had a Pinson, Edison, Volquez, Leo Cardenas, Gaspel, Adam Dunn, Aaron Harang. There's some bobbleheads loose in there. And then uh, there's a big red machine. Looks like a, a series of them. But there's I think a couple of big red machines and then some Kentucky Derby stuff yeah that's the other big red machines so it's a series of like five of them Bronson Royo Willie Mo Pena Tom Brown and Mr. Burke. Charlie's back, folks. Charlie's back. Charlie's back. Okay. What was your price? What were you thinking? 200 bucks. 200. And I put at 8 bucks a hat, which 
I figure most of them I could sell for 15 to 20 and there's going to be a couple that are maybe 30 or 40 bucks but for a true collector and fan <laughs> hmm. I love this hat I know I'd wear the crap out of it looks like it has been I don't know see, I see I think that's the one or that I looked dust, at maybe. yeah yeah because if you look at the band well I don't know. That's that's light sweat. I've you, never you, seen a rainbow UC hat. That's kind of cool. You know how to get that stuff out? That, Hot water and magic eraser, dude. Do I don't care if I wear it, do I? <laughs> that's true. Two hundred. Oh, that's. Can you drop any more than that? Nope. How about one fifty? At eight bucks a hat, I wouldn't do it. At, do at, at, at eight bucks a hat, I think eight bucks is a steal. I don't need every hat though, unfortunately. I wouldn't want these two per se because I've got ten others just like it. But the good news is they come with the bundle. <laughs> Oh. I, I offered you 150 you said 200 mm -hmm. where could we meet okay so let's say we take the two that you don't want you don't you don't like those two hats because you already have them so 180 if we do 170 I'll Venmo you right now 180 and you can keep all the hats i'm not gonna take the hats back all of them yeah 180 170 180 oh, come on i, I can come do on it. this is money this i know money, man. it quick money don't make a difference dude i'm the death pile picker man <laughs> it's just gonna go in my death pile let me think about yeah. this it's like so many of all those right. you can rock we gotta we gotta meet 175 done deal Okay, 175. Charlie, you're a good man. Thank you. Yeah, I think I'm the good man in this situation. I think but you are. He also gave me a jacket in there that I would have been so sad if you would have taken it because yeah. it was my size. There you go. It, it ain't my size. Him. It wouldn't have fit. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Vim 175? 175. All right. All right. I think I heard your phone beat. That's it. All right, folks, that wraps up another one. Thank y'all very much for coming along. Awesome, awesome deal there. Uh, first time picking up in Cincinnati. And anytime that I can buy something for, take for instance, that costs $50. And you saw me sell the one bobblehead for 20 I did the hats for 180 and or sorry, 175 I came back, I sold that whole lot of bobbleheads to a local friend of mine. For $150, I took that $50 or $60 that I spent, turned that into over $300. You cannot beat something like that. As you can see, I don't necessarily need the death pile, but uh, I'd rather take the money in hand. Let me know. Is that something y'all would do as well? And do y'all have any stories of reselling something at a garage sale? Uh, tell us down in the comments any stories. And uh, thanks again for coming along. We'll see you next time. Take care.